It's been a couple of days now since we've been on a beta test. But all of a sudden, the beta thing is gone. The Filmora's Insane version 12 is officially ready for every Filmora user. So in this video I will show you all the features that I did not mention in previous videos I made on Filmora 12 upgrade. Now, concerning the upgrade, click on your Filmora version 11 and go check for updates, it will show you the latest upgrade. And this is version 12.0.7. Now this upgrade is free but not to every user. So how much? If it happens to be you who can't upgrade free, the upgrading amount is $29.99. So you check the pinned comment and there I have given more information about this. Now you can choose from five different kinds of layouts. From default, organize, timeline, shorts video and classic. And from here it will allow you to use a dual monitor. And I usually use this classic. Here is another feature to save your time when editing. Now you can drag and drop it into your timeline, double click and do some editing. Then all the effects you apply on an adjustment layer will be applied to all clips beneath it. Now this is very important for you to understand, there is what you can apply to an adjustment layer and what you cannot apply. For example, you can't use the adjustment layer to animate the below clips. Yet you can animate whatever you apply to an adjustment layer. I made a video that I can say a complete guide to an adjustment layer. The power of an adjustment layer. You can check the video link in the description because in this version, nothing has changed to an adjustment layer since I uploaded that video. So this is AI Audio Stretch. If your background music is shorter than your video, you can use this feature to stretch out your audio to match the desired length. So actually, you don't have to use this feature on your voiceover audios because it will cause a mismatch. Press S on your keyboard or Shift S to exit the feature. Here is one of the most necessary features in editing. Now you can draw a mask using a pen tool and you don't have to struggle for some shapes that doesn't exist. Just like that and you are done. Keyboard shortcuts can be confusing for sometimes, especially if you've been using another video editor and now you have come to Filmora. This upgrade has made a move towards that, by clicking here you can similarize your keyboard shortcuts to two most popular softwares, Premiere Pro and Final Cut Pro. Keyframing 2 has been upgraded, but it might be confusing to someone, so there is just a slight difference as compared to Filmora 11, as you can see that, it's now on Transform. You can check the link in the description for a full video on that, and by the way, the other feature I made a video about is the Smart Cutout. This is also a powerful feature in this upgrade. It will allow you to change the background of your image and also of a video. Not only that but some creativity can be done using this feature. As you will be using this version, you will be noticing some small changes on your own, for example, the folder we know as Elements is now Stickers. Now there is a Templates folder and in this folder is a split screen. Now guys, since Filmora is upgrading the features, I am also improving in the way I edit videos. You can check one of the videos I made after the Filmora upgrade, for example, this one. It's a better video, 